Hey guys, in this ICT basics video, I want to go over the concept of to it and through it. <clears throat> so ICT teaches two, two types of targets, two important aspects of price, and that is inefficiencies and liquidity. Um, for the concept of to it and through it, we'll start with the visually the most easy one to see, and that is liquidity. So a lot of people, you might, when you first start listening to ICT, you might believe that when he talks about targeting highs and lows that for some reason price should just stop there like you know classic support and resistance right no guys the concept of to it and through it is very simple whenever you see prices drawing to say sell side liquidity sell side liquidity or buy side liquidity you expect that price should trade to it and through it so notice every time I'm gonna mark out a high that's going to be buy side liquidity to it and then through it to it through it now sometimes yes folks these things are going to uh, turn price around on a dime but so for example here we can see it traded to it and then turned around but generally speaking what I'm trying to get in your mind is that whenever you see a higher low that you are targeting that you believe is a draw on liquidity you expect price to go to it and through it okay to it and through it <clears throat> now the same the same goes with sell side liquidity right to it through it to it and through it okay so that's the concept of when you were targeting a high or a low as in a liquidity target you expect price to go to it and through it um, similarly guys when you're targeting an inefficiency so let's say that we have a sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency right here Okay, we have a SIBI. We expect that when price gets to an inefficiency, it trades to it and through it. Okay, so whether that's a volume imbalance, it's a new day opening gap, new week opening gap, or a fair value gap, guys, <clears throat> when you see an inefficiency, your first expectation should be that price trades to it and through it. Is that literally always going to happen? No, sometimes an inefficiency is going to act as immediate support or resistance and price will not trade through it. But your baseline expectation for both liquidity and inefficiency is to it and through it. So if you remember that, uh, you'll, re you'll remember how these things should operate. And most of the time, guys, it's, you're going to see that to be the case. So a high or a low, you're targeting in a buy side or sell side liquidity, to it and through it. You see an inefficiency, new week opening gap, new day opening gap, fair value gap, volume imbalance, liquidity void. What do you expect? Price to trade to it and through it. Alright guys, this has been my ICT Basics video on To It and Through It.